What's good, everybody? We are back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So as you guys know, it's Thursday night, which means it is time for the newest lucky draw. And this one is actually going to be the very first legendary for the one and only HBR. For those of you who didn't see it, I actually made a video on the best HBR build earlier this week. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time actually going over the build for the HBR, but we are going to do be doing the spins and lucky draws and some gameplay for it as well. I will show you guys briefly, but if you want to find out more about the reasoning behind the different attachments I use, you can go check out that video. But without any more talking, we're going to go ahead and hop into the video. All right, the Honey Badger Attack Epic Golem and Legendary HBR Swarm. This might be a little bit loud, but definitely a beautiful skin. Pretty hyped to be getting this one, especially given we haven't really gotten many great HBR skins. Re oh my gosh. The iron sight on it looks insane. Yo, that's actually awesome. We got 13,000 CP, so we should be pretty much good to go on this one. We're going to go ahead and start spinning right here. We do get the pistol right off the bat. Obviously, y'all already know what the order of this is more than likely going to be. If I do get the Honey Badger HBR first, I'm 100% ending it right there. I don't care if I don't get the character skin. That has never happened for me before, and I want it to happen, but obviously one of the ones that you typically expect pretty early on is the spray, considering nobody ever really uses them. We're going to go ahead and get the flashbang grenade. Definitely another really exciting one. You know how competitive flashbangs are and how commonly they're used in Call of Duty Mobile. We did get the, the PDW a little bit earlier than I would have expected. If, uh, if we hit 10,000 likes on this video, I will do a PDW gameplay as well as it's not really a gun that I've used a whole lot. I'll probably see if I can find a decent build for it. As expected, we get the calling card right there. Legendary, even though nobody wants to touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. We get the backpack as expected. If I had to guess up next, we're probably going to get either the emote or the charm. And there we go. It's the charm. Let's see if I can continue predicting the future. Will we get the charm followed by the characters? Or not the charm, the, uh, the emote. Correction. The emote followed by the character skin, followed by the HBR. Oh, wow. COD Mobile really switching things up on this one, making it unpredictable. Last but not least, finishing off pretty much the en entire rest of my CP, we do have the HBR A3. I will say the iron sight on this is freaking sick, so I know right off the bat, we're definitely not going to need any type of a sight on it. I'm excited to use this one, though. We are going to go ahead and make a build and hop into the gameplay. And it looks like we got something else to check out pretty soon as well. So, taking a look at this, we do have the default attachments. Definitely not going to be running the 44 round mag. We actually will be running the granulated grip tape, though. Also going to be rocking the no sock. Honestly, this is not too terribly far off of what I normally would have gone with for this. I do very rarely use any type of perks on this, throwing on the OWC laser, throwing on the strike for grip as well. Like I said, I'll talk about more of the reasoning behind some of these attachments in my other HBR video, but without any more talking, we're going to go ahead and hop into the gameplay. And actually very nearly left out the character skin right there. Obviously, that is a big no-no, so we'll get him thrown on. Wait. Ah, so it's the golem. No wonder I couldn't find him. All right, we get the golem forest on right there. Now we're good to hop into the gameplay. All right, haven't had a lot of luck with my uh, gameplay so far. I actually did have one really good gameplay that, of course, I was not recording for, so that's just kind of always the way that it goes, but we're going to push very aggressively through right here. Even though I'm a potato, I still miraculously come away with the kill. We get him over top of the head glitch right there as well. And that's going to allow us to, I believe, get the double cap, and as I say that, I get shot from top of 10. You know what? It's all right. We're not tilting this game. That is objective number one, not tilting. Yes, we may have given up C, or we may have given up A, but we do take C right there. We're going to take that dude out. It looked like he was holding an Annihilator. I think it's a little early to be holding an Annihilator, but 
that's at least what it freaking looked like on my screen. We're going to take out this guy. We're big chilling right now. They've got one that's trying to push over to A, I think. And he's actually pushing over to B. I, I think I'm actually running in circles around these guys. Which is the reason I'm not getting any kills. We do finally have one spawn over there. And we're big chilling now. Shock RC is going to go down. That's going to tell us to go over toward the A flag. And that dude's going to die. That dude's going to die. No! And Molotov means I'm going to die. But we got the double cap right now. So not too much to worry about. We're going to throw up that UAV. Even if they do manage to get the C cap right here, it's not too much to worry about. Especially because this dude is about to die to my HBR. Oh, come on, any yoinkers in the chat? Any, whoa, I thought that was the opposing team and I was like, what the freak are these spawns? We're gonna try and push through right here, see if we can get control of B or, it looks like we're just gonna need to flip. Is that dude nearly, I think he nearly one tapped me with a freaking J358, like what the heck? I was going to pre-fire this. I thought for sure somebody was coming through there. Apparently I was wrong. UAV going up. That dude's dead. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I get sniped through the smoke. All right. It's Annihilator time. No more of this messing around. We get that first one. We're going to slide through. Nobody spotted yet. We spot him right there. And we're big time chilling. Teammates are spawning topside. We're going to look to throw up this UAV. And I'm actually going to push while my teammates cap right there. We knock him off of his Annihilator. We're able to continue to push in right here. Looking to get another Annihilator frag. And uh, probably looking to knock them off. Oh, he's got... Why is that dude running around with the... I feel like he's been using the revolver the entire time. I feel like there has to be something specific he's going for. Maybe maybe he's going for the gold J358. At this point, I honestly don't know. And I was a little distracted right there and didn't even see the guy until he was like right on top of me. All up in my business. I hear a sniper over to my right. And it's scaring me a little bit. Apparently he is pushed all the way up. This dude's probably going to try to jump down. We'll be able to take him out. And he actually has not pushed down. Pre-fire in the corner and somehow he shoots me when he's not visible on my screen. And we're actually, oh, we're double capped right now. Okay, I am not a big fan of this. They're pushing to B. We get a frag right there. Definitely much needed. Oh, I wish we could have gotten that C cap, but we're, we're all right. We're chilling. We're chilling. All right. We're going to throw up our UAV off the start. Looks like they're sending everybody trailer side for the most part. We're looking to get that frag. That was one of the ugliest sprays I've ever made. They've got an Annihilator up top that I'm definitely trying to knock off. I think my teammates should be able to get him right there. Although I actually still haven't gotten the assist on it. We'll get that one. And we do take out their Annihilator as well. That's actually going to be huge. It looks like they're going to get C right here. But if we throw that up and we push pretty aggressively, we'll be able to take him out. Throwing down our Shock RC right here. Should give us a little leeway to push out with the Annihilator as well. Not sure where my shots are going and... That guy somehow manages to kill me before the Shock RC gets to him, but I've never been the best operator user anyway, so it is what it is. I think they're actually pushing Seaside right here. We get one frag. Following it up with another. Not, not a bad trace right there. I honestly felt like it was going to be an absolutely terrible trace, but... We get that guy spawning down below. Easy frag for us. Looking to take the triple cap and actually... Instead of doing that, I'm going to slide right here. Ooh, and he got to the truck more quickly than I had anticipated. I'm guessing he's going to hop out right there. He does. A little bit of ADS bullet spread giving us some trouble in some of these long-range fights. Honestly, I may end up swapping out a couple things on this build, and that could potentially make things a lot easier trying to handle it. We actually somehow managed to land a couple shots right there too 
Just enough to scare him off. We're gonna take him out. They've got a guy camping the head glitch, so we're gonna RPG the truck right there. Apparently, he's already left. I think has pushed over. Oh, he's still over there. All right, we we end up winning the gunfight. Their guy's gonna drop. We're gonna get the C cap. Shock RC's going down. We're in the triple cap now. Finally getting some momentum and not feeling absolutely terrible about my rank performance. Get another one right there. He's pushing into trailer. Please, teammate, take him out. I'm not a huge fan of the sentry gun. I'm going to take that dude out. Holy freak, what streak am I on right now? I, I legit have no idea what streak I'm on, but it feels like a decent amount of kills. So I'm going to play... Like, I'm on a streak with a decent amount of kills. I'm going to pick up your AK-117. Unfortunately, the game's already over, so not really any shot at getting the nuke right here. But we do finally have the gameplay that we needed for the new HBR. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do me a huge favor. Drop a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. That took me way too long to get, but we did manage to get it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,